Welcome back to DX Explorer for one more video, a first video for 2022. So a very late Happy New Year, everyone. And I hope uh, this year is going to be a better one, uh, considering all the craziness that's going on around the world uh, right now. So anyway, I'm going to try to keep the videos as short as possible from now on. So I'm going to jump straight into the subject. Um, first of all, I'm happy to be back on YouTube. I'm I apologize, I've been away for such a long time, but I've been busy with projects, uh, family and work and a lot of stuff going on <laughs> in my life. And uh, I had no time for um, ham radio or YouTube and nothing for my project either. But uh, I'm back and uh, I'm going to continue uh, posting uh, videos, maybe not once a week, but maybe once every two weeks, three weeks, maybe once a month. We'll see how much time I have available, but I'm planning to um, keep posting and uh, not uh, taking any break as I did uh, last year. So anyway, I'm happy to be back. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Thank you to the older subscribers for sticking around. A lot of uh, you guys are writing me emails and a bunch of you sent me parts while I was gone. Um, by the way, I was in Italy for a couple of months and uh, I received a bunch of presents from um, a lot of the subscribers so thank you very much i'm going to talk about that uh, in the future videos about each of the ones that send me uh, presents and uh, yeah i'm very thankful for having such a nice community uh, built around the hobby uh, that we all share so anyway coming back to the ptt cw transceiver just because i promised i'm going to keep the video short this is uh, what i ended up with a cw transceiver in a wooden box uh, spy transceiver <laughs> and uh, anyway I have um, I've rebuilt the whole thing um, in a very tiny size if you can see it and um, I tried to make it as small as possible to fit in that box and probably I could make it even smaller if I had a smaller box uh, <laughs> but uh, it works fantastic uh, and the power output is impressive as well uh, somewhere around here I had the older board, oh, there it is, so this is the older board that I had of the PT Tico um, and the new one it's nearly half of it <laughs> and I could make it even smaller so yeah you can build it quite small, Miguel was right so I have to say thank you Miguel for such an amazing schematic, such an amazing uh, tiny transceiver um, it works fantastic for just a handful of parts with just one transistor and uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed. I, I still can't believe how well it works. And uh, I realized that uh, the issue that we had uh, with the first build, it was the 2N2222 transistor, which um, I discovered while I was working on the Michigan Mighty Might uh, because I had the same issues, low power output. I'm gonna talk about the Michigan Mighty Might uh, uh, transmitter in a later video. Um, probably I'm gonna go back uh, and tell you what was the issue with that one and why I had uh, such a low power up, uh, power output. But yeah, this one had a similar issue in my older video. It was not very stable in frequency as the trans uh, transistor was overheating. It was uh, going down uh, in frequency. I had a lot of chirp on the output and I decided to rebuild it. And because of this uh, wooden box, I thought, hey, that would be a great idea to rebuild it and put in that wooden box and find out the issue. So if you look on the screen right now, you'll see the schematic uh, that I did for the transceiver. Basically, um, I tried to stick as close as possible to Miguel's original design. The only thing that I added was a low pass filter on the output which is a very basic one, uh, just like the ones uh, used in the um, uh, Pixie transceivers, which is uh, two capacitors, uh, 470 picofarads on the input and output on the, of the coil connected to ground. And then the coil, basically it's a T37-2 uh, with 16 turns of uh, wire, I think it's 0 0.45 millimeters, uh, the wire that I used. and um, it's about uh, one micro Henry um, as a value. And then the other thing that I replaced was the um, coupling capacitor between the 
um, output of the transceiver and the low-pass filter. In Miguel's schematic, it was 150 up to uh, 120 up to 150 picofarads. I increased the value to uh, 470, and I'm getting a power output of uh, nearly one watt. If I'm using batteries, about 900 milliwatts, and I'm getting about uh, <laughs> over one watt if I'm using the um, the plug-in power from like the wall power supply, uh, which is impressive. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. We're gonna test it right now. We'll put it on the on the watt meter, see the power output, see how it sounds, um, hearing it in the Sputnik region receiver, and then we're going to test it on receive as well if I'm getting some good propagation, because these days the propagation is just horrible. I can't hear nearly nothing, not even on the Sputnik region receiver. So we'll see about that. But anyway, let's test it really quick. All right, so my battery pack is quite low right now, but uh, you can hear the, the transceiver in the Sputnik region receiver. Let me adjust it a little bit. Uh, you can hear it better right now. And it's very stable in frequency as well. No more chirp. And also, if you look at the power output, uh, you'll realize that it's about 700 milliwatts with a low battery pack uh, is not fully charged and I used it for the light uh, right here to film so Miguel was right you can get 700 milliwatts output I know a lot of people complained um, that uh, they're not getting more than 200 300 milliwatts output uh, and I'm thinking that probably is the same issue it could be the transistor but um, yeah the, my receiver I just turn it on and until it warms up it's going down in frequency but this one is very stable and I'm very happy about it now I'm going to test it really quick uh, without uh, um, the Sputnik region receiver so I can use the wall plug uh, and uh, give it uh, 12 volt full power and you'll see that it's going over the scale of 1 watt all right, so I plugged in the, the transceiver uh, straight into the 12 volt um, wall adapter and look at the meter right now. It's jumping over the one watt scale. Which is amazing. Just a 2N2222 transistor. So uh, as you can hear in the background, <laughs> the propagation is not that great. Um, as I was saying, probably I'm going to record something better and put it at the beginning of the video, at the intro, um, with a better reception. But for now, this is what I have. Um, a lot of AM broadcast band interferences and in the background you can hear a little bit of uh, um, CW signals, but yeah, not that great. Probably later on in the evening I'll get a better signal and uh, you'll get to hear a lot better but yeah uh, probably on the output uh, you can use uh, powered speakers or maybe a little amplifier with an LM386 that you can connect it to some headphones and that will give you some better uh, sound other than that uh, Miguel uh, was saying that uh, he recommends a telephone um, a headphone the ones that is about uh, 300 ohms uh, impedance or maybe um, high impedance uh, headphones, uh, the ones that you use for the freestyle radio. But yeah, that's what I get right now. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I will see you in the next one. Until then, 73. And one more time, Happy New Year and thank you for sticking around.